Carol Batchelder joined Popeye's Louisiana Kitchen in 2007 with one goal, to run great restaurants. Six years later, her company has more than 2,000 outlets in 25 countries. They take in nearly $2 billion a year. I think that means they're doing okay. In 2012, Batchelder was named Leader of the Year by the Women's Food Service Forum. That's one of the industry's top distinctions, and guess who's here? Madam Popeye, thank you so much for joining us <laughs> so at the good table. To be here. This is the thing there's a new poll that says three out of four employees say that their boss is the worst and most stressful part of their job. Clearly, we're not talking about you. So, what makes you such a great leader, great boss? I think leadership is a stewardship, and I think we're responsible for creating a great place for people to work. And I talk about that a lot because I don't think it's true for most people. Um, a great leader invests in their people, communicates effectively to their people, makes them feel part of something important, and importantly, develops them to their full potential. And I think that's the honor of a leadership responsibility. I mean, first of all, if you don't have good bosses, how do you have good employees, right? right? Right. And, and why are we so bad at creating bosses? Well, I think most people don't understand that taking care of the people in the enterprise is how you get to great performance. And so I say that taking care of your people is a strategy for great performance. And, and at Popeyes, that's proved true. We take care of our franchise owners, and as a result, their business proposition is performing at the best level in our industry. But did you wake up and say, you know, I've always loved chicken? How did this happen <laughs> for you? I fell in love with the restaurant business. The restaurant business is all about the food and all about the people. And what better, more fun thing could there be to do. So I love uh, Louisiana chicken from Popeyes and I love the people who serve our guests and I just consider it an honor to be in service to this company. We, we should say you, you, you ran Lifesavers for RJR Nabisco, yes. you, you ran Domino's KFC, but actually when you went to college you studied piano. I did. And a fact that I love was you actually at one point sang behind Van Morrison. <laughs> I think wow. they threw away those tapes. <laughs> well, that, that, was that must have been a thrill. Suit. It was. He he picked us, our choir out to do some backup vocals for him, and you know I didn't even know who he was at the time. Brown-eyed so. girl Van Morrison. Yes, yes, that, that Van Morrison. That Van Morrison. Wow. Now you're dating me big time. Let's <laughs> oh, talk about okay. something more current. <laughs> but, but I think it's interesting to talk about your family life because I read that everybody in your family, all your siblings, are CEOs. I'm they wondering are. what your mom was serving. Oh my goodness, my parents. How many siblings do you have? I have three siblings, two oh. sisters and a brother. They all run companies: two in the healthcare industry mm -hmm. and one in the water engineering industry, and uh, they're amazing people. And I attribute that to my parents, Max and Margie. They gave leadership lessons every night at dinner. Mm -hmm. uh, like what? Give me a leadership lesson. You know, from your a table. leadership lesson is primarily about values. Mm -hmm. uh, my dad would come home at night and talk about the tough decisions he had to make today, today about the business, about mm -hmm. the people. Uh, if he had to let someone go or the business wasn't performing well, he explained those things to us. Mm -hmm. But Cheryl, I'm so fascinated by your career. I was talking to another woman who's in your business in the restaurant industry, and she's in a high-ranking position. And after Cheryl. Sandberg, Sandberg's book came out. She said, you know what? I should have leaned in more because there's no reason when I look at the number one why I can't be the number one person. When, did you make a conscious decision along the way that you were going to go for number one? I don't remember making a conscious decision, but I did make a conscious decision to give every job that I was uh, given my very best. I think you have to bring your strengths to work. I think you have to bring your values to work. And you have to work for a purpose. Mm. I really believe that your personal purpose should show up not just in your personal life, but in your work. So should, we, should we be doing more to create <laughs> women CEOs in yeah. this country? Well, I hope that we're contributing to that at Popeyes. We've built a Popeyes Women's Leadership Forum that is a leadership development group for women. And we've seen huge progress among our women, many of them getting new jobs and promotions as a result of that investment. All fast food restaurants are concentrating on healthier items. Mm -hmm. I assume you guys do it over at your place too? Yes, we have four meals at Popeyes that are under 350 calories. So That's you can no eat. fun. The best part of Popeyes <laughs> is the skin on the chicken, Cheryl. Well, yes, yeah, you can eat that I too I can eat someday, that stuff so. by itself. That's, that's you, right. you won't find Gail in Mid-Locala. <laughs> yeah. I'm so yeah, glad but, you but love you our food. You do have the options. I do. I do. We do. And we want to offer the choices that the consumer wants. Right now, the consumer wants waffle chicken tenders. I waffle do. chicken tenders. Oh, my goodness. That's the hot those. Yes. What do you attribute to the to what do you attribute its hotness to? Well, I think people just uh, never imagined how good it would taste to put a chicken tender in waffle batter and that's then right. dip it in honey and maple. Put a little bit of syrup on it. Oh it's my god. Like Gail's out of control now. Singing. Watch out. Yeah. So, <laughs> as we say, as we, yes, I do. As we say goodbye to you, what makes your chicken so good in a word? Louisiana roots. That's two words, but we'll take it. Thank you, Sheriff <laughs> Batchelder. Very nice to meet you. Thanks. You too. Thank you.